Hey there, I'm Phil Duke Jr. with First Class Real Estate. And if you're watching this video, you're probably either thinking about opening up a first class franchise or maybe another real estate franchise, or maybe you're just an agent out there that's looking for a new home, a new brokerage to park your license under. If that's you and you want some more information, feel free to just click the link below. Be glad to hop on a video chat with you and answer any questions you might have. Uh, again, no pressure, no sales pitch. Uh, I made this video because this first class real estate model has been a big game changer for me and I want to share with you why it's been such a big game changer for me and why I picked first class over some other options that I had. Number one, I felt like the first class real estate business model was truly a win for everybody. And I didn't really feel like that was the case in some other business models that I looked at. It, it seemed like some of the other models I looked at, people who got in early or people who had a bunch of agents underneath them, uh, they were the ones who were really having the most success, but the agents that were out there doing the deals, working with the buyers, working with the sellers, wasn't really a great fit for them. Maybe they just didn't have the ability to talk one-on-one -on -one with a broker. Maybe they didn't have somebody at the local level as a leader. And so when I saw the first class real estate business model, it truly was a win all the way from the agents to the team leaders, to the franchise owners, to the area representatives, even to you know the folks up at the corporate resource center. So for me, it was really important for me to be part of a company where everybody has a chance to win and that it's not just people at the very, very top. You know, and another thing for me that was important was that this is focused around making it easier for people to do real estate transactions. And the whole model is all about teaching agents and team leaders and broker owners how to get better at getting agents into production, whereas some other business models I looked at was all about recruiting agents, getting them into the company, and then passing them off to somebody else and hope that they figured it out. I didn't want my company set up that way and I, I can go to bed at night every night knowing that the agents that I brought in to my brokerage, to my other locations that I have, they are truly set up for success. And that was really important for me for this to be a win for everybody. Number two, the, the second thing that I really liked about the first class real estate model was that there's two commission models. Now, first class is not gonna dictate to you as a franchise owner what your splits are, whether you're gonna be 70-30 or 60-40 or 80-20. They're not gonna dictate that to you, but they do have at the core, and what most locations are doing, is they have two business models. So one is kind of like a team setup, uh, like for my location here at First Class Capstone. Uh, those agents are on a 70-30 split, and included with their split, they get closing coordination, they get listing input, they get leads, they get coaching provided to them, and they get all the technology. So we're essentially able to kind of hack the traditional team model where agents are having to give a chunk of their commission to their team leader and then give another chunk to their brokerage. We're essentially able to hack that by just saying, hey, come over here and on a 70-30 split, you're going to get everything that you would normally have to join a team to get. You're going to keep more of your money and still get those same admin services. And that's kind of what agents have been looking for, and that's one reason why we've been able to grow our locations as fast as we have. The other model is a 100% commission model. And the great thing about having that model in place is that you're attracting more of those top producer, ready to go agents that are already in production that don't need a whole lot of coaching and training and mentorship. But a second thing about that business model is if you take somebody in, they're on your 70-30 model from the beginning, they build their business up to the point that now they're thinking about going and open up their own brokerage or doing a team. You've got a model now where you can keep those agents in your doors, keep them in your brokerage without losing them. So it's a big retention thing too. So very common thing in our brokerages is that we get agents in on that 70-30 model. We build them up to a certain point and now they swap over to the 100%. Now they're out there coaching and training agents. They're recruiting agents. They're essentially coaching and training and recruiting agents to your location without you having to pay a salary uh, to them. It's in their best interest to grow their team that way. So having two different commission models was another big win, another big reason why I went with First Class Real Estate. Third thing I think is really, really important to realize, uh, I probably didn't realize how important this was gonna be uh, going into this, but the coaching that I get and the technology that we get. So, you know, in the past when I was just a real estate agent who was in production, I had coaches. I had a coach that I did a weekly call with. 
um, you know, and, and those things can be kind of expensive to have a one-on-one -on -one coach. Uh, we provide all of our franchise owners with a weekly coaching call. Um, in fact, more than one. We do a group coaching call every week and then we give you the option if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. People like myself, um, people like myself who are area representatives, uh, one of my roles as an area representative is to do a weekly coaching call with all the franchise owners that are new to the company. So I get assigned a certain number of new franchisees and I am their personal coach to help them grow. And I think that's extremely important. Um, when I looked at what it cost to open up a first class franchise, um, to me I felt like the coaching alone was worth the franchise fee. But it's also very common that when I'm talking with team leaders or broker owners who are already in those positions or maybe people that are thinking about shopping around for that, it's very common that those folks are paying $1,000 or $1,500 or even more just to have a CRM. And with the first class model you get a great CRM, you get a choice between KV Core, a perfect storm, you get Brokerman to help you manage all your transactions, you get Salesforce that provides a lot of reporting for you so that you can make good decisions based on data. Uh, all of your agents also get access to First Class University which provides a lot of training to them. So you're getting a lot for the money. I felt like it was a really, really good value. We were paying over $700 a month just for a CRM. And you know, if you, if you uh, finance a franchise with first class, you're gonna pay less than that uh, per month. And you get the CRM, the broker mint, the first class university, the Google suite, plus you get weekly coaching, all included in that franchise fee. So for me, I felt like it was a great value uh, for the coaching and for the technology that we get with first class. Okay, and the last thing I wanna talk about is the culture. And I know everybody thinks they have the best culture, but for me, it was important to be part of uh, a company that had similar values to me. Uh, for example, I'm not a big fan of downlines. I don't like the multi-level marketing thing. Uh, I have friends that are making a killing on it. I know it's a legit thing. Uh, but to me, I wanted to have a business that truly was a business that I owned, that I operated, that I could sell, that I could hire a manager to run. And, and you know, since I started with First Class, I've been able to get not only out of production, but I've been able to get out of the day-to-day -day operations of my business. We've grown big enough and we've added enough agents and added enough transactions that now I've got a manager you know, running my location. I've got an admin doing the admin in my location. And now I'm able to focus on other things, building other businesses outside of you know, just a real estate brokerage. Um, so it was important for me to be part of a culture where that was the norm. We wanna build businesses that are legit businesses and to me, I just don't, I don't see a downline as a true business because you can't really hire somebody to run it. Uh, I don't really think you can sell it if you can. I don't really know anybody that has. Um, and so, you know, creating a real business that is a real thing, that's a really good fit for agents, that was what I was looking for and First Class helped me get there. And so if you've watched this video, you have some questions about First Class Real Estate, you want to see more about the First Class franchise model and what that looks like, again, just click the link below, hop on a video chat with me. You'll be able to pull up my calendar and see what I've got available and would love to connect with you and show you how I'm doing it with my locations, how I've gone from just an agent to being you know, in a position where I was growing the business myself, recruiting and training agents, and then passing that off to somebody else. And today running multiple locations in multiple different states. Would love to show you how we're doing that. Just click the link below. Again, I'm Phil Duke Jr. with First Class Real Estate and I hope this video helped give you some clarity on the first class real estate business model.